colouring for half an hour while I say colouring. I've been sat here for 10 minutes stirring it, not actually doing anything. Um, I've got a scan today. I think I mentioned it. However, I had surgery um, coming on to about 18 months ago now. I had surgery on my stomach for a lump and they removed it. And it was scar tissue anyway, around my C-section scar. And it was causing me quite a lot of pain. Right, so where's the lens? I'm doing it again. Up here, up here. Yeah, so it was causing me a lot of pain. So I've got another scan this morning. It got cancelled, not last week, the week before. Um, so I'm having to get my mother-in-law to take me, unfortunately, because it's it's quite far away. Right. Right, there we go, that's better, that's better, you can see me a bit better. So I've just clumped my hair up right on top of my head today and I'm just wearing my comfy clothes. Because I'm not really doing anything apart from this scan and um, just general housework. I want to hopefully get this hair finished today, look at this. This is a Mystic at Mirrors page. Uh, I did watercolour for the whole thing and I've just started using polychromos for the hair. The lighting is proper because it, it has been torrential rain. I was saying to my son this morning at um, quarter to eight, why is it still pitch black? It's so dark and then uh, the rain started. So that was why, that was why it was so dark. But yeah, I just thought I'd hop on. You guys seem to really enjoy like, the vloggy type videos. I might even take you along, well obviously I can't take you into the hospital or into the appointment but I can take you along for the ride sort of thing. My hair is doing me heading but by the time that it's, I've sorted Isabel like the bird at night time I can't be bothered doing anything. <laughs> I'm sitting here for an hour in the evening doing uh, my art which I usually sit here for two, two and a half if not three hours. I'm not tidied up since last night I've got brushes and all sorts everywhere. I do need to put uh, Papantham on my arm, so I'll do that now. So I did get some more of my tattoo done yesterday. Ow, ow, ow. Bad idea wearing a long sleeve, but it is cold, it's cold. So I have to probably stand up. So this is what I managed to get done yesterday. So we've got all this top section done, which that part of the arm there where it creases is unbelievably sore. So I'm not gonna keep doing it. So he's done all this all this round here so some of the main and then he finished this one here and then you can see where he's done more of the shading on the face so it'll all look like that eventually so i need to book in actually i need to message his wife i'm gonna do that today i need to uh, book in for i've just put my sleeves down i've just put my sleeve down i was meant to put my cream on yeah so i'm gonna book in probably for the end of February, give it a good four weeks or so. Yeah, four weeks, three and a half, four weeks to heal. Uh, but I'm really pleased with how it's coming out. Yesterday, it wasn't too bad. It wasn't as bad as the one before. The one before, uh, the session before, I had to stop halfway through and uh, get some air. Like, cause you feel yourself getting really hot and you feel like you're gonna faint. Um, but I was, when I was speaking to him yesterday, I was saying that that night I'd had a terrible night's sleep because she had me up for hours and hours. And he said that that does affect how you cope with the pain. I swear to God, my phone always goes off whenever I'm recording an art video or this sort of video. I'll have to go and check that in a minute, but my phone's on charge. Uh, so yeah, I've sent her off to school this morning. I had to take the umbrella out and keep her covered. Honestly, it was like torrential rain that this morning. I feel sorry for my son, but he, he's a tough kid. And he's a, he's a boy, it's not like it, it matters that his hair gets wet. <laughs> uh, I'm just putting a thin layer on this, and then I'll keep my sleeve rolled down until this afternoon, and then put some more on, I think. But up here, up here, oh God, that, that hurt. <laughs> that hurt. So I'll let that dry for a little bit. If you're wondering about the colouring, colouring, you can tell it's earlier. The colour combinations, I've used, I'm not even going to be able to pronounce this, in the, yeah, I can't. Uh, I don't know 
don't know if the camera's going to pick that up. But the pencil number is 247. And then we've got dark indigo 157. And then cold grey 1. 230. And I use that cold grey to sort of blend out the other areas. So I'm going to switch the camera around just so I can show you maybe one slice of her. I'll have to just show you this really small section because I'm having to hold the tripod and it's awkward to say the least. I'm just bringing this colour down halfway, I'd say. Now this paper has warps ever so slightly but you should have seen the amount of warps that I actually used on this page. It was a lot. So I'll just keep it in the very centre a little bit lighter. And then the darker shade, bring that up and blend it to the middle one. It's really easy to do in three colours. But it does help because that base colour is the watercolour. But you could use alcohol markers, water base markers, anything just to get rid of the white of the paper. And I used this grey colour just to blend it out ever so slightly. I don't want to bring it like the way that I did it there. I stopped a bit here. I don't want to bring it there. So that's how I'm doing this hair. It's just easier. I feel so tired as well today. I feel like I'd, I've been out on a drinking binge. <laughs> uh, well, Danny was kind of snoring last night and Isabel had us up at um, five o'clock this morning, I do believe. Five o'clock. So I had to try and go to sleep with headphones in with the sound of rain uh, to drain out the sound of both of them. So I don't even know what time she went back to sleep this morning. Yeah, I don't know. But she wasn't in too, too much of a bad mood. Oh, I got a couple of watercolor paints yesterday. I got, put them in one of my palettes. Let me just check. I got uh, the Winsor & Newton Professional, the Mars Black, because I tend to use a lot of black because I'm doing all these backgrounds and I'm using my black or black crazy. And I love the professional line of them, but I tried to get the professional line in the Payne's Grey and I couldn't find it on Amazon. So I ordered it just as the Cotman. So I popped that into the palette that I made myself and that's got a mixture and I redid all the Daniel Smith paints because I've nearly used all them up as well. So I've squirted a little bit more into the palette and let it dry overnight. I've not actually checked it. It didn't work all over the row. So I don't know what I'm gonna be like filming today. I might not be able to. It's a very messy palette. Let me just keep hold of it so I don't fall everywhere. Merit, mess it, unloved. But all these top ones here, they're the ones that I re-squirted in last night and then they're the new colours. And just let them dry. <coughs> and they act like a, just a normal watercolour. Once they dry, you can reactivate them like you would normally. Yeah, because I've just been loving the, uh, the Galaxy stuff. I don't think I did much of a Galaxy with this one because I didn't even put any white in the background which to be honest I probably just forgot <laughs> I think I got carried away with painting the rest of it I forgot so we are now nearly quarter past so I'm gonna have to get my shoes and my coat and get my bag ready I need to still find my appointment letter which I'm gonna do now because it'll get to 25 past and I'll be in a rush but I just keep all my uh, appointments and documents and stuff that's handy because it was right at the top. So I am sort of organised. I've got dates and stuff for school as well. Just checking that there wasn't an address there because knowing how daft I am sometimes. And I've got my little mama bear. Again, off Amazon. <laughs> Do I shop anywhere else? Probably not. I'm not one for walking around clothes shops. I sort of like just walking in somewhere getting what I need to get and get out there. But if, if you're talking about an art shop, then I could spend hours and hours in there. An art shop or a pet shop. I like looking at rabbits and hamsters, even though I'm never ever gonna buy one or have the intention of having any more animals. I just like looking at them. And the rescue ones as well. And then I need to, you might be able to hear my dryer. Uh, I need to put another wash on. I need to do the kids bedding when I get back. I need to, I said it, I said the other day that I was going to do my clothes, didn't get round to it. <laughs> but 
But we found a trick as well. When we used to take Isabel shopping to the supermarket, she was an absolute turd bag. <laughs> I can say that, she's my daughter. Uh, she was just really naughty, like crying, kicking off. And there was no explaining to her, there was no explaining, this is what we have to do, this is how long it's gonna take. And then when we get to the checkout, we get to go home. There was no explaining to her, so uh, we tried something different last night and went shopping later on in the evening. So my husband got home from work at about six o'clock, just after six. Um, and last, not last night, night before, I was on the phone to him and some, somebody bumped in the back of his car. Um, and then something else happened, so I'm just waiting for something else to happen because it always comes in threes. Uh, I'll get back to that other thing in a second. But yeah, we took her to uh, just Tesco last night and she was good as gold, absolutely good as gold. I had to go to the cash machine as well uh, to take money out to pay for school snacks. And I went to the cash machine and I had Isabel with me and someone had left the card in the machine, logged in as well, logged in. I just pressed cancel on it and I took the card to customer service as I was walking, up, walking around. I heard it over the fire. It was a guy. What was his name? Jacob something. I can't remember. I can't remember. But I just handed it in. Uh, yeah, the um, there's a surgery called SDR. I can't remember what it stands for now. If you Google it, it'll uh, it'll come up. But it's spine surgery, and it could possibly help Isabel. Not necessarily walk, but like make it easier for me looking after her, changing her and stuff, um, and possibly help with her mobility. Don't get me wrong, that she might be able to use a walker. So we've been researching it and we emailed the, um, there's a hospital in Liverpool, Alderay, that they do this surgery. So we actually emailed the, the doctor that performs the surgery and she's emailed back and she said that we need to speak to Isabel's paediatrician and she needs to be referred, right, fine. So I've rung him up a week and a half ago and he finally rung me back, not yesterday, day before, what day was today? We are Wednesday, so Monday, Monday, he ran back. Anyway, to cut the long story short, he said that she, he doesn't think that she would be eligible or benefit from it. But if we did go down that road, then we'd have to fund it ourselves and it's not cheap. But, um, I've just asked him, can we have an appointment to see him? Because she's not been reviewed anyway and over, I want to say about two years now because of COVID, she's not seen really anybody apart from the physios at uh, school. So I've asked her to be reviewed again and I said, you know, can we have the conversation about it when I'm there? Just to explain it a bit better. If he can explain it away, that I can, or both me and my husband can understand why she's, she's not, she wouldn't benefit from it, then fine. But at the moment, it just feels like, He's saying, nope, she can't have it, and this is, I'm not really giving you a reason why, you know, it's annoying. But hey ho, right, I think I might be able to do one more her strand. I just feel like I'm all over the show this morning because I'm so tired. That's why I've just popped my hair in this. Still need to do it pink, I just can't be bothered. So yeah. I'm just hoping that the rain keeps off as well, to be honest. And I'm having a bit of a lack of motivation sitting down doing a proper art video. I do apologise. I think I've still got some of these, these COVID symptoms, you know. It's not like, I'm still tired. I've not got my normal energy back. Like, come like two, three o'clock in the afternoon, I'm absolutely exhausted, exhausted. And then once I've got her in bed, I don't really want to do anything. I just want to go to bed myself. But we finished watching a programme last night. Oh, what was it called? Like Play By The Rules or something. It was all about an office, uh, office workers and these murders that, was ha that were happening. Um, it was really good, really good. I enjoyed the ending, but typical Dana. You guess what the ending was. I went, well, that's really stupid. It always happens. So we'll leave you with something else to watch. I'm still watching my bad girls in the daytime for an hour or so. And I'm really enjoying that. I think I was sat here as well for half an hour this morning with Justin's house on. If you don't know what Justin's house is, it's a programme on CBB's that Justin Fletcher, the same guy that does 
Mr. Tumble. And because I'm so used to having it on in the background, I didn't even turn it over. I finally just turned it over to ITV to listen to Lorraine, Lorraine Keller. I never just sit there in the morning watching TV. It's very rare if I do. I'm hoping she doesn't turn up early. <laughs> My mother-in-law, that's, that's what I'm talking about. So uh, has anybody seen them clips that I've been sharing on Instagram of my son playing that, um, what's it called, that cyber thing, cyber beat or something like that, is it cyber beat? Be like dance to the music and you've got like two cyber things, whatever they're called, like off Star Wars, and then you hit the boxes as they come towards you, he's hilarious, he's a lot better than me on it. Right, the there. My dogs haven't come out of the beds as well all morning. I've let them out to go for a little widow outside and I think it's because of the rain, but it stopped now to be fair. And I did check the weather app and it's meant to be sunny. Sunny for the rest of the day. So let's move here. Let's go and get my shoes on and get this appointment out of the way. I was hoping that they say it's the same thing as last time, um, that it's just scar tissue, but it seems to have formed a lot quicker this time and it's still causing me the pain. So it's going to be one of them. Should I go through with it, the surgery to remove it, if it's just going to happen again in 12 to 18 months, I can't keep having this. These surgeries, I mean, I can't, I can't, be, I can't be having it. I can't be having uh, my husband having time off work. Right, I'm still talking to you and I need to get my shoes on and my coat and my handbag ready. So I might catch you later on today. So I've just got home now. I went in actually five or ten minutes early, which makes a change for, for appointments. Hello. You being nice. Hello, Rollo. He was barking, weren't you, when we came in? You daft dog. So anyway, um, the lump, they found it straight away. It's bigger than last time. He thinks that it's possible. And endometriosis, that's how you say the right word. Uh, if it's not that, then it's scar tissue on my C-section scar again. But with all the symptoms that I told them about the pain that I get at certain times of the month, the back pain, the feeling tired, but that again could just be normal. <laughs> um, he is, he's going to do a report, send it to my GP, and I have to ring my GP next week for them to refer me to the specialist to speak about um, what we can do because I did say to the doctor that I saw then that ideally I don't want to have to have surgery again because it was such a pain in the bum trying to find help with Isabel because of the recovery obviously you have surgery you, you need to rest for a couple of days so I don't really want to have to go down that route again but we shall see we shall see um, I did mention to him actually that we were thinking about IVF again, so this might put a bit of a it might not go as simple as we as we thought, but we'll see anyway. So it's half past eleven now. I'm gonna get on with a couple of jobs and then I'm gonna do my dinner. Probably watch TV for a bit. I'm hoping to film this afternoon, depending. Um, I've got a couple of ideas of videos that I want to do. But it's having the motivation at the minute. It really is having the motivation. Whether it's down to having still COVID symptoms, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't feel myself. How do you feel, Rollo? You're just a softy bum, aren't you? Softy bum. 
So you'll have her sat here with me all day, more or less, especially when I've got food. And then the other one's sat in a bed staring at me, but she will come out later on this evening. She's not a day dog, not like this one. Not like this one. And I need to hoover Isabel's chair. I think there's cereal and all sorts from this morning. Just the, I've ordered a different tripod as well because this one is ridiculously heavy considering it's a tiny tripod for a, cam um, for a phone. So I bought a lighter one, so hopefully that'll be here today or tomorrow. I'm hoping today, but you never know, sometimes Amazon, sometimes delay stuff. And I've still got workmen right outside my house, which is irritating because if I do want to film, I'm going to have them noises in the background. But anyway, I will catch up with you later on this afternoon. Oh, hello. My afternoon was spent taking them darn acrylic nails off. Someone on Instagram has just recommended for me to get some cuticle oil because they're absolutely destroyed. There's still some acrylic left over there and the But I think I'm, Isabel's due home in, in about 10 minutes. Whoa, stop it. And I think I'll show you what, it, what she's like when she gets home. She's so, so cute. Uh, she she's quiet when she gets off the bus but once she's inside the house she's a little chatterbox for about 20 minutes to half an hour she won't watch us up and then once I put the TV on if I need to do jobs like dip a tea then she sort of like zones out for the rest of the day <laughs> but yeah I'll let you see what she's like I don't know how much I would be able to capture my tripod has just come so if that's what you're on Ooh, I can lift you up really 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 high um, so I'll see what I can capture I'm getting used to the different angles I've, as you can see I've still not gone through it I'm still putting it off but I have read through your comments that I'm going to sit down hopefully tonight or tomorrow afternoon and reply to everyone but I think it is a good idea to get a head start now before we go through the process of of moving because I've got a funny feeling it's just gonna happen like that I'm gonna be talking about it and talking about it and talking about it not knowing when it's gonna happen and then it's just gonna come out the blue so if I'm a little bit organized that might help and I'm due my hypopanthum cream <coughs> yeah it does it looks a mess it's a good job it is in the dining room and my husband doesn't really doesn't really mind I'm just gonna put a little bit of this on I don't know what I'm going to do about my nails now. I think I'm going to have to give them a bit of a rest. I'm going to go and prep tea as well. Once I've sorted Isabel out, I'm doing a beef stir fry for tea, which I'm looking forward to. I've not done a stir fry in months, but I've got all fresh ingredients uh, with noodles. So yeah, I'm looking forward to that. And ribeye steak, ribeye steak to go with it. So I'm hoping that I can get a good shot of Isabel. And I come in because she's so sweet when she gets in. So I'll see you in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. Have you had a good day at school? Yeah. Yeah. What have you been up to? Yeah. Over there. Over there. Over there. Luke, can you see the video? Yeah. Are you going to talk like you do normally? Are you going to talk like you do normal? Let's get you sorted. Yeah. Would you like a drink? You've not had a drink in a while, have you? Yeah. Have you had a nice day? We'll get your diary out and see what you've been up to. Oh, we've got, oh, have you done a picture? There's baby. Uh, oh, your diary's, your diary's there. Yay! Yeah, let's quickly read it. Let's see. Let's see, thanks for the snack, snack money. Bad day, dinner, you've had pasta. Uh, and then you've had toast and biscuits for a snack. And you've been to the toilet, very good. Have you done me a picture? Yeah. Have you done me a picture? Mm. Is that a train? Mm. What's that picture? 
Is that squiggles? She's done me a picture. Okay, okay. All right, set you eight. Yeah. Get you all sorted, have tea, and then it's bubble bath tonight. Yeah? 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 What have you been up to? Have you been singing the songs? Have you been singing? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round, round and round. The wheels on the bus go round and round. Put baby down here for a minute. Okay, round. I missed you today. I did. I did. All right, I'll take you out now. Move the camera. See? Can you see? Say hi, Isabel. Hi, Isabel. Hi. Yeah. So we're gonna take you away and put pop you here. Yeah. Pop you there. Oh. Hiya. Hiya. Hey. Hey. Let's just move your chair back a little bit. The wheels are dirty. Have you been outside today? It'd help if I take both of the brakes off, wouldn't it? Eh? Oh. Are you going to give me a snuggle? Can I have baby? Thank you. Yeah. Oh, see? I bet you've been playing outside and having lots of fun today, haven't you? Yeah. And you've been doing drawing, haven't you? You got a colouring book from Father Christmas, didn't you, at Christmas time? Not looked at it yet properly. It's blue, eh? Isn't it? Yeah? Yeah? No. Right, so I'm probably going to have to get her sorted now. <laughs> We've got, I've got your pyjamas out. You put your pyjamas on and be nice and comfy. And then we'll have a bubble bath after tea. Have a bubble bath after tea. Yeah? Yeah? A bubble bath. So yeah, I'll quickly show you. Yeah? Let's do some good sitting up. I know you're going to be tired because it's been school. But you literally have to hold the back of her by letting like, go. She's gonna go. Aren't you pudding? <gasps> Leaky Aurora's come saying hello. This dog loves her. Uh, like, I love you. I love yeah, you say love you. Well, it sounded yeah. like it. Is that your Roro? Is that your Roro doggy? Yeah, yeah. you say hi, Roro. Say hi. Say hi. Say hi. Yeah. <laughs> She's super sweet, isn't she? Good girl. Right, I'm gonna have to get her changed and sorted. Get her sorted for tea. It's only half past four now, I'll just have to. I'll hopefully pop on later on and finish this vlog here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a new page tonight, I'll pick the lights. Um, so I might show you what, what I'm working on later on this evening. You want my attention, don't you? I want attention from all three of you, don't you? So I will see you in a bit, guys. So I could get used to doing this vlog and I don't mind it actually. So I've just popped Isabel's tea in. Yeah, because I said that I'm doing that stir fry steak for tea. I'm gonna, gonna get everything out now. Uh, my son won't eat that, he doesn't like steak. So he's got a beef lasagna full ready meal because it was really fussy. Which nine times out of ten, he eats more fruit and veg than my husband. <laughs> um, but, alright, we're not leaking, so I need my lungs. I think it's interesting as well seeing what's in people's fridges. <laughs> I did go shopping yesterday, so it is full. Um, I need my noodles. My veg. My 
got two packets of sauces as well. I've had this sauce before, it was nice. Fresh garlic as well. You can hear her. She's patiently waiting for tea, which will take 20 minutes. She's having like a chicken grill, like a southern fried chicken breast, which I cut up small for, and she can eat it with her hand with a bit of ketchup and like these fritter things. Yeah, so sweet chilli sauce, sweet chilli sauce, rump steak, with noodles, egg noodles, bean sprouts. I have to have bean sprouts. And then just the pepper stir fry mate, so it saves me from chopping everything up. But I do add probably about four or five <laughs> things of garlic. But I'm not prepping all that now because my husband's only home in another nearly two hours. I might even have tea while she's in bed and sit and watch a bit of TV together for half an hour. We finished that program last night. I still can't remember what it was called. I'm gonna have to have a look on the the skybox. <coughs> Hiya, can I just borrow the TV just for one minute? So she's happy in here with her toys. Let me see what it was called. Um, I'm sure that we downloaded it on here last night. Rules of the game on BBC One it was, really recommend that. Um, I won't tell you what it's about, just in case you're not interested, but it was really good. There was only four episodes. Well, a good twist at the end, but like I said, I've got a husband that that knows everything. So let's take your hands and turn all the lights on, because it is getting dark now. Time to feed the dogs as well. Might even do a little bit of diamond painting tonight because I took my nails off. I'll find it a lot easier to sit there and diamond paint. Um, I didn't really get much done with this, so I've only got that little portion of hers to do now. I should be able to get, get that done maybe in an hour tonight, it's just her, uh, maybe start on the horns and then do some of this diamond painting, if I can show you the, so I'd probably say I've done about a quarter of it but that's going to my mum's and look at this, I did show it briefly but I know it's backwards because it's recorded on my phone but it says presented to colour me stressing, it's just stressing Colour me stress free for passing 5,000 subscribers. Danny got me that for Christmas. I think he was expecting me to be dead overjoyed when I opened it when I wasn't. Yeah, I think he was, wasn't he? Yeah, are you patiently waiting for your tea? I need to go and get you a bib on tap. I forgot. I forgot. It doesn't matter though, you're having a bubble bath in a bit, aren't you? Yeah. Are you playing with your bricks? Alright then. Yeah, so it's a case of a pot potter in the house for the next hour, sorting either all of our teas or just the kids' teas, and then sort her as a little bit later, bath her, bed, and then I'm determined to do some sort of art or craft for a couple of hours tonight. We'll see. And I've got a glass of wine with my name on it. I get this dead nice red wine. It is. Got half a bottle left. That's the one that I have. So I might have a little glass of that in bed tonight while we're watching TV. But luckily it's stopped raining now. It stopped raining at about 10 o'clock. No, it was later than that because I was out at that time. I think I spoke to you didn't say about the the scan about what the doctor said. I'm gonna have to look into that a little bit more. Like the symptoms. I don't necessarily. I'm always one that says. Don't Google things, don't Google things because you think the very worst, don't you? But I thought the dog was right behind me then. Uh, yeah, you think the very worst, don't you? But yeah, there she is because I'm in the kitchen. Rollo, Rollo. It's not tea time yet. She's always behind me when I've got food. So I think I'll just be back later on. Later on, I might see if Danny wants to pop on and say hello, you've not seen him yet, have you? But he might say no because he'll probably be tired from work. He's mega, mega busy at work at the minute. Mega busy, so by the time that he's got home at night time and he's helped me with Isabel, he just wants to cabbage out on the, uh, on the sofa. Rollo, can you get off a wheelchair, please? Thank you. Hi. 
Hi, I forgot a bib again. I forgot a bib. I forgot a bib. Mm. Are you looking forward to your bubble bath? Unlucky. Eh? Are you looking forward to your bubble bath? HSL, and give you a nice hair wash, give you a head massage. Isabel, go. Cheese. <laughs> Cheese. Yeah, yeah you take a good picture, don't you? Yeah. Right, I'll see you in a bit, guys. Bye. So I'm just about to start recording. This little flip through, it deserves a talking flip through. It's absolutely gorgeous, this one. I'm showered, I'm ready for bed. Um, I'm tired now. Um, I'm tired. You might hear Isabel kicking above me. But anyway, I'm going to get to filming this. If I can get the camera on, that is. <laughs> So now what I'll have to do is transfer the footage from this to my laptop after I've done editing this because I'm halfway through editing it so I can actually sit here and do some colouring tonight. I've not managed to pick a page. I've not managed to pick a page. But I'm still finishing that Mystic Art Mirrors. But after seeing some of the images in this, there was one in particular, there was, well, there was two actually, that was stunning. I think they were, they were, were they them, uh, I'm stuttering all over it, sure. Them exclusive ones, like that one with the otter. That is beautiful. I'd just, I'd just get this magazine, even if it was just for the exclusives and for the uh, the grayscale at the back. I did say in that video, I paid about eight, nine pound for the, the grayscale at the back of this book. That one is stunning. So I'm keeping this book out on the side somewhere because I need to finish the other Mystic Art Mirrors one. And then I'm going to work on this. I'm really, really, really pleased with this. And how much was it? 5 75 So get down to your local supermarket. I know not everyone's in the UK that watches. Uh, and it'll be a couple of months for you for the wait, unfortunately. Um, but I think I'm going to end this vlog here because it's nearly 8 o'clock. I have to go and put her to bed. Finish editing this. Edit it, edit that video. I'll download it, edit it. And I want to sit here and colour for a little bit. And I think my daughter's gone to sleep. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So we have to keep tabs on her because she might hurt herself in bed. And she's fallen asleep. So I do really have to go. So I will see you in my next either vlog or video. Take care guys. Bye.